All right, welcome back. There's an anti-Semitism problem plaguing Ivy League campuses, and now leaders of Harvard, MIT, and UPenn are facing a fierce backlash for failing to strongly condemn it. University of Pennsylvania President Liz McGill is up against the ropes. The board of the powerful Wharton School of Business is joining a growing chorus calling on her to resign. This after a wealthy donor announced he's pulling $100 million in gifts and donations to UPenn. All the fallout comes after Tuesday's explosive anti-Semitism hearing on Capitol Hill that led to controversial exchanges like this. Specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision. At Harvard, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. Hard to get a straight answer. That widely panned testimony is now leading to a formal congressional investigation. The House Education and Workforce Committee Chair, Virginia Fox, wrote writing in part, quote, Committee members have deep concerns with those presidents' leadership and their failure to take steps to provide Jewish students with the safe learning environment they are due under law. Joining us now is the Congresswoman herself, Congresswoman Fox. Thank you so much for being on the show. Senator, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is calling on all three presidents of those universities to resign, and she's not alone. Many are joining her. Do you think they should? Should they all step down? Well, we're investigating the campuses, the, the three of them plus more, and I, I want to let our investigation play out before we call from the committee for their resignations. I think if I say right now that they should resign, that that leads us to have a conclusion to the investigation, and we really need to go through the investigative process. Oversight is a big part of our responsibility in Congress, particularly in the House, and we want to do that. And it's not just those three campuses that we're going to be investigating. We're going to be investigating many, many more. I've got to ask you, a lot of people watched that testimony and it made their heads explode. What were you thinking as you listened to them over and over and over hedge when asked, is it okay to call for the genocide of Jews? Well, the day before they had asked me what my vision was, what did I want to get out of this hearing? I said, I want you all to grow a spine. I want you to express uh, moral, I want you to bring forth morality here. And I want you to, sh to show people that you care about the students, that you are not anti-Semitic, and that you're not going to tolerate anti-Semitism on your campuses. They did not do that. I'm not sure they were prepared for the line of questioning that they had. You know, we requested that they come. They readily answered our request. We didn't have to subpoena them, but I don't think they have an idea of how strongly the people feel about this and how off course they and their campuses are. Yeah, it's hard to imagine that they thought, I don't know, it, 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 you, to hear them over and over again, say, it depends in the context. It's, you know, it's a simple question with a simple answer. It's not okay to call for the genocide of Jews. And it, it was really remarkable to see them over and over be given the opportunity to say the right thing and to over and over fail to, to actually do that. At the hearing you chaired this week, Harvard President Claudine Gay you know, she faced a firestorm of criticism, leading her to apologize. She said this, quote, I got caught up in what had become at that point an extended combative exchange about policies and procedures. She seems to be blaming you and your questions. Obviously. But that's what happens with uh, liberals, and that's what happens in uh, post-secondary education. You know, I told them, I don't call it higher education anymore because they are not leading to higher order skills. They're not teaching higher order skills. They're not teaching critical thinking skills. And you're right. Liberals blame everybody else for the things they do wrong. There is, they've exposed themselves in a way I frankly have been trying to do for a long time. I've chaired this committee. This is my second time of chairing it. 
I'm a former university administrator and college president, and I've been sounding the alarm of this for a long, long time, saying there is rot in the university system, and we've got to start paying attention to it. We Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.